I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? There it is. Is it done? Are we done yet? No shave November. Can I shave again, please? <sighs> All right. I'll keep going. I'll keep going. The beard oil helps. It doesn't itch. I just don't like it. I don't like it. I mean, I kind of like it, but I don't like it. I just took a shower, did my hair. Let's shave. Let's shave. It's just one of those days. Just get, 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 let's just shave. Put some water on by my face. Hot water. Hot water. Today, uh, <laughs> hi everybody, hope you're all right. Today I'm gonna use the Parker 99R, which I haven't used in a long time, and a Feather Blade. Feather Blade, that cool, refreshing drink. Yeah, so um, No Shave November is going along fine. It's November, what is today, the 8th? November 8th, so we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. The weather is, uh, is fitting for the, for the month. Cool and slightly rainy today. All right, there we go. This is non-adjustable. This is a great cheap razor. If you've never used the Parker 99R, I highly recommend it. You can get it for like less than $30. It's built well, shaves well, give you great close shave. What am I gonna shave with today? I'm gonna shave with space soap. Afterburner. This is not available to anyone but me. This is by prescription only. So thank you, Bob, for sending this to me. The Afterburner. You can buy the space soap. That's fine. You can buy it off his Etsy store, but you can't get the afterburner. It's just for me. It's all mine. It's got extra menthol in it. But you know what? That may not be enough menthol. Why don't we put some more menthol? Let's put some menthol drops from Sterling. Let's just be silly today. I don't know. It's one of those days. Why not? Why not? You ever have one of those days where you just like throw caution to the wind? That's today. What are we gonna what are we gonna lather it up with? The West Coast shaving brush. Yeah. Yeah, the Jolly Rancher. And uh, how are we gonna lather it? Right here. That's the way I always, let me get some more water in here. And then we're gonna load this brush up and we're gonna shave my cheeks, shave my neck. Yeah, the beard oil's keeping the itch away. So I've already seen a few comments from guys that have uh, that already given up on the No Shave November. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you, I'm, I'm here for you. I feel your pain. I just, uh, you know, I know that uh, some people say it suits me, you know, and um, uh, to a certain extent, I guess it does. But I just like being clean shaven. I like the act of shaving. I like fe feeling clean shaven when I'm done, you know. I'm gonna get the, uh, the extra stuff off here so I don't waste it. Put the top back on. Mmm, good stuff. Peppermint scented black shaving soap. Like I say, you can buy the space soap from, from Bob off of his Etsy page. If you go back and look, you'll see the links. You'll see some links. If I remember, I'll put a link below. But anyway, this is the same guy that did the space cow. By the way, Congratulations to the winner uh, of the Space Cow Brush and Cherry. I have not got uh, mailing information from the winner yet, Raymond. So congratulations to you, buddy. And, uh, but yeah, so this is Afterburner with a little bit extra. It's peppermint scented, it's mentholated, and oh, it's good stuff, good stuff. It just feels weird to only do this part of my face, you know? <laughs> I'm only, oh man, this stuff smells good. Oh, you know, it's just one of those, you know how some scents, some flavors or some music or whatever just, you know, resonate with you? Peppermint. Peppermint with me. Gosh. Gosh, a Rudy. All right. Dip this in the, uh, the old hot water down here in the basin. Ah, oh, mentholated in the corner of the mouth. And let's shave. Let's shave, uh, shave my eyebrows, shave my eyelashes. I'm shaving my nose hair, shaving everything else. I'm not going to shave my chest. I'm not that crazy. I've had requests for that before, but that's not my thing. <laughs> there, I'm sure you can find that kind of stuff elsewhere on the internet, all right? But this is a family-friendly, simple man shaving channel. And uh, hey, so I'm hearing, and I got word earlier this week, and I'm hearing from everyone else that the Gillette Heritage Safety Razor is delayed until the end of the month. It was supposed to be here by now, or like arriving, you know, like today or yesterday. But now mine has been pushed off, pushed off till November 20th. So I think that's happening to everyone. So I don't know if that's, you know, what that is, why that is. I wonder if some people are getting theirs already that maybe ordered very early and they, you know, didn't anticipate the demand being so high. And so maybe they've sold out of their initial stock and they're waiting for that next batch to come in. But anyway, yeah, so I, I everyone seems to be having their, their shipment delayed. So Gillette. I think 
you've heard the masses. We want it. We want safety razors from you guys. We don't want your nonsense with your vibrating, heating, $200 silly cartridge razors. We don't want it. We're too smart for that now, you see? You can't pull one over us. You can't pull the wool over our eyes anymore. We're woke. No, we're not woke. Come on, stop it. We just, we know what we like. We can see through the marketing. And we want a good quality safety razor like you used to make in the past, okay? Make it here in the USA. Do it. I know the heritage, I believe, is, uh, is it Chinese made? I could be wrong. Correct me if I am wrong. But make the fat boy again. Make the, the slim adjustable. Make the black beauty. Make all that stuff. Make those three. Make those three. You could rule the world. Rule the shaving world, Gillette. That's my advice to you. Not that you're taking it, but that's my advice to you. But I will also say the same thing to Barbasol. And I understand I have not seen it yet, but there are Barbasol body washes and other products, not just shaving. And people are finding them at like Big Lots stores, which is, uh, for all of you who aren't in the States, it's kind of like a discount store. Uh, I'm not sure what the equivalent would be like in the UK, but uh, almost like a dollar store. You know, you guys have Poundland. Big Lots is kind of like that. It's not a dollar store. But anyway, I have not yet come across the Barbasol body wash or other body products, but if I do, I will do an entire head to toe Barbasol experience. <laughs> body wash, shaving, aftershave, hairspray, toothpaste. And by toothpaste, I mean uh, brushing my teeth with Barbasol. Shaving cream, because they don't make toothpaste. Anyway, Barbasol, get in on the act. Sell some, uh, some safety razors. I, uh, Barbasol did make ba uh, baby razors. <laughs> don't sell baby razors. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> That's the second pass, by the way. I'm, I'm motoring through this, baby. Um, they used to sell safety razors back in the olden days. I don't know exactly when. But I have seen them for sale on eBay, but they're like, you know, they want $100 for them. And you don't see them very often, but uh, maybe that's why. But that's too much. That's, that's silly to pay that much. Anyway, modern cartridge razors are great for people that like them. They will always exist. But so will safety razors. So will straight razors. So will shavettes. That way you cover everything. Everybody's preference, you know? Everybody's different. A lot of us are similar, but really when you get down to it, we're all different, we like different things. All right, here we go, up against the grain. This Parker 99R, get yourself one if you don't have one. Add it to your collection, add it to your shave arsenal, if you will, because it is a fantastic razor. I haven't got, well, I got one tiny nick, but that's okay. I was, I was, um, for the past week, I kept using the 1918 Gillette, and I kept getting nicks down here, like a bunch of little nicks. So that, I think the nick that I'm getting today is left over from those. You know, kind of a little problem area. But yeah, Parker. I still have never used a Merker 34C, even though I recommend it all the time. I'm just going on, uh, Others' recommendations. I've not used an Edwin Jagger. I've got a lot of razors I haven't used because I tend to like the vintage ones, and I don't know. Those seem like they're they're real workhorses, right? Everyone knows about them. Everyone uses them. Everyone swears by them, but they don't hold any interest for me. They're not intriguing to me. So I was like, nah, they're out there. If I get one, I'll use it and I'll show you. But I just feel like the. It's kind of boring to me, you know? And one of my main aims in life is to not be bored or be boring myself. So, oh my goodness. I don't know. All right. Three passes. Parker 99R. Good. Good stuff. Now cold water. Cold water. This is the other thing. Speaking of earlier brushing my teeth. When I brush my teeth, now I got to get all the... Like, you know, I get a little bit messy, so it gets all in the mustache and the beard, and I gotta get the toothpaste foam out. I've had several, um, I've been putting it to you to uh, give me recommendations or uh, requests or whatever to uh, what to shave the beard off with eventually when I shave it off at the end of the month. 
And I got a great idea from someone to use actual Scotch whiskey as an aftershave. So I think I might do that. Scotch whiskey as an aftershave when I shave off this beard. I'm not going to use some like really nice single malt. I'm just going to use a blend, you know, uh, like $20 bottle of scotch. I mean, I saw a $20 bottle of beard oil at the CVS pharmacy. You know, it was Duke Cannon. So I was like, oh, how can you get away with trying to sell oil for $20? It was a little bitty bottle. All right. In lieu, in lieu, in lieu of uh, <laughs> scotch today as an aftershave, I'm going to use Bay Rum, which I haven't used in a long time. Clubman, Pinot, Bay Rum aftershave, classic Virgin Islands Bay Rum. Oh, spicy burn. Woo! That's, it's like a gumdrop. You know, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's like one of those spicy gumdrops. Spiced gumdrops is what this smells like. So there you go. I finally figured it out. <laughs> it's great. I love this stuff. Mmm, that's what it is. You know, they have normal gumdrops and they have spiced gumdrops. Have you, I forgot about those. Used to be able to buy them like Brock's made them. Brock's is a candy company here in the U.S. Okay, so there's the gumdrop aftershave. And now a little of the beard oil to keep this sucker from itching. I was tending to be itchy right here and right here. So I got to put extra on those spots. And this is the Sterling Island Man, in case you uh, forgot or hadn't seen other videos. I put a little bit along the chin strap here. People are like, why are you just letting the, why is it so thin along there? It's like, really, it, that's where my hair grows. It, I don't get big, huge amounts of uh, beard hair up here. So I keep it to the thin, to the thin chin. Because I need all the help I can get with the jawline. <laughs> all right. Ah, this, oh man, I tell you what. The combination of that Bay Rum and this Island Man together, that's fantastic smell. Ooh, that's good. It makes me want to go to the islands. It makes me want to go to... I've never been to the islands, you know, like the Caribbean islands. I've been to Mexico, I've been down to Cancun and stuff, but uh, never been to the Bahamas or the Virgin Islands or anything like that. What do I look like, I'm made of money? I'm taking vacations down to San Antonio, that's what we're doing. <laughs> All right. Ah, I think that's enough. Is that enough? Yeah. Man, I tell you what, if you haven't ever tried, if you have these two and you haven't tried them yet, that's a fantastic combination. Right there. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands off. Look around, make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Oh, no, I haven't. Just every now and then I like to pop that up there. You, I see, you can still find these. I found, I saw one left at the CVS I was at where they had that $20 Duke Cannon beard oil, which is insane. Let me feel. Yep. Yep. And whatever that teeny tiny nick is not there. So that's great. I had to use an alum block the past two mornings with the, uh, with the 1918. Yeah, I've got it right there at my fingertips. I just Like a ninja, like a shaving ninja. No, I'm not. All right, everybody. Well, that's it. That's it. No shave November. No shave November continues on. We're heading into the weekend. I'll see you all on Monday, if not sooner. You never know when I might have a live hangout on the porch. And uh, I hope you all have a great one, and I will see you soon. Bye.